Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through one more problem on working capital. Guys, this working capital concept is really easy, but when you come to these kind of problems, this could be a bit confusing and you will be getting really confused, guys. Okay, so let us try to understand. Even I am also, I'll also be get confused when I am solving this problem. So let us try to understand. So the following financial information is available about a super steel limited company. So the they give the amount and units as cost of raw material per unit is 40 direct labor cost is 15 overhead is 30 and total cost is 85 profit is 15 and selling price is 100 okay so they give some points guys so raw material in the stock is on average for one month so here they will be giving some time in months and weeks guys so let us convert all the things into weeks guys 2052 right so an year will be having 52 so we'll be considering every month is having four weeks Fine. Okay. So the raw materials are in stock for 4 by 52 into 40 and materials are in progress for 2 weeks. So 2 by 52. Finished goods in stock for 1 month. So 4 by 52. Credit facilities to the company debtors are allowed for 2 months. 2 by 52. Credit long in pay of overhead expenses for 1 month. So it is 1 by 52. Cash in hand and at bank expected to be 13,000 fine okay so and the number of units he told us to assume is 50 units so all the calculations you will be doing in terms of 50 units guys into 50 units into 50 50,000 sorry 50,000 units in that way okay so let us start the answer so it is nothing but calculate calculation of working capital required for super steel limited so we will be calculating the working capital what how much it is required okay so basically let us divide the things into asserts and liabilities guys okay so basically what are raw materials guys those will be your current assets is that correct let me recheck it right now itself guys okay current assets we are getting stock that is nothing but material fine so that's correct so further moving on material materials are in progress so these also will be under your asserts itself so assets working in progress fine after that we are having finished goods so finished goods will also be your asset okay let me recheck finished goods yes we are having and after that we are having credit facility so credit means you took something from credit so you need to repay him so this becomes liability yeah that's perfect so further moving on so the returns are allowed for two months credit log so credit log means you need to repay the money so this also becomes liability so average log fine so that becomes your liability so is there anything else guys that's it cash in hand is 30 13 000. cash in hand means that becomes your asset right so that's it so till now we have just understood the question and we have divided them into asserts and liabilities. So our first goal will be in raw materials what are the columns that you need to include. That's the main question guys. So raw materials. Are there anything related to raw materials guys? We are having only this row. For raw materials in stock on an average of one month. So the, the value will be in this way 40 into number of units that is nothing but 50,000 into the time that is nothing but one month so 4 by 52. So you calculate it. So this will be the cost guys. So that's what I have just written here, here guys. So stock of material for 4 weeks. That is nothing but 50,000 into 40 by 4. So we got the amount as 1,53,000 something. 1,53,846 is the amount. So in that way we will be getting guys. Fine. So now let us go through the next thing that is nothing but work in progress. So for work in progress what are the things that you need guys. So remember that in this you will be getting many repetitions but you should understand the question carefully fine. So work in progress you need raw material you need labor and you need overhead cost. So these three will be included in the working work in progress fine. So those all, all will be asserts and the time is 2 by 2 weeks. So 2 by 52. So 40 into 2 by 52 into 1000 plus 15 into 2 by 15 into 52 into, into 50,000 30 into 50,000. 30 into 2 by 52 into 50,000. So in that way you will be calculating. So that's what I have just written it here. Working in progress, material, labor and overhead. So we have written them and so we did calculation. So we got the initial values in this way. So we totaled them. So we got 1,63,461. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through finishing stock. Okay. So the next thing is finishing goods guys or finishing stock. Fine. So once we finish them, what will be coming into play guys? The total, only total, right? Okay, so here the trick starts guys. In total, you need to write in two ways guys. So the first one will be, you will be having two different steps here. If you observe here. 
so just give me a second so finished goods in stock for one month so you'll be writing one month means 80 into 50,000 into 1 by 1 by 52 so that's what we have written it here so it's one month right so one month is four weeks so that's what you have written it here fine so after writing this we need to even include the detars guys because the in the question they gave detars it seems so let us see where they gave detars mm. here it is creditors here also it is creditors here cash in hand so where did they give detars guys okay so here it is credit credit fa credit facilities to the company so this sorry for this guys this is company detars right so this becomes an assert so for two months so even for this detars also you'll be giving they need to prepay you the money right so means they will repay you the exact money that you are paying right so that is nothing but 85 rupees per unit so 85 unit 85 rupees into 50,000 into how many months two months so 8 by 52 so I hope everyone got a small idea so now you'll be doing it and you'll be finding the total so you'll be getting some value so even you need to hand add a cash in hand right so that that is also an asset so we added it so you got 13 lakhs 11 thousand 76 rupees so that is your current asset guys similarly you'll be calculating the current liability so let us continue with current liability okay so here we are having in liability we are having okay so yeah here we are having both things guys so here the first thing we will by observing itself we can say this will be your current liability credit log in payment overhead expenses for one month so this is nothing but an overhead so overhead cost is 30 rupees so 30 so 50,000 into 30 into 4 by 52 so we got 1,15,385 fine so after that there is one more credit it seems guys 40 rupees credit so where is it okay so this is also having credit and data guys so this is a single statement with the two things we, we need to write in both so here the credit facilities so we will be writing for two months so two by two means eight right so is that correct that's also not correct it seems guys just give me a second this is cash in hand we are done with that so this one month we are done with it facilities for two months that also we have done after that financial we have done okay guys so let us assume there is one more uh, facility on credit so credit means we need to repay right so that's the reason why we need to repay some 40 rupees per month it seems so we'll be writing it so we'll be getting the value so guys this is not given in the question but i just written it so that's the reason why i'm just explaining you if it, if it comes you'll be writing in that way fine so you'll be doing some total so you got 2 lakh 69 thousand so you'll be subtracting from current assert minus current liability so you'll be getting 10 lakhs so this 10 lakhs will be your net working capital so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through some sources of working capital, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.